Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another unboxing video. It's an unboxing of this car seat right here. It is already time for my daughter C's car seat to be upgraded. And so we got another one. The Joey Trio car seat that I reviewed before, like maybe at least a couple years ago or so, I am going to leave the link of that video in the cards at the top of this video if you guys want to know what I'm talking about. But that car seat, we're still using it for Kay. Kay is still using that. But the car seat that C is currently using is like a baby toddler car seat but now that she's bigger she needs to be upgraded she's at least 15 kilograms so she can already use one of these because that car seat that she has right now is actually not comfortable anymore for her we can tell because she's a little bit squished in it now so we got a new one for c now i wanted to get the same car seat as case the joey trio but unfortunately we can't find one that we can collect straight away and we just really want to get it straight away. So we just went for whatever we could get. That also has ISOFIX or that is ISOFIX compatible. So we went on the Argos website and we were able to get this straight away. This is the Harmony Dreamtime Elite. It looks pretty decent from the website. So we got this car seat from Argus for $39.99 and I'm just gonna tell you what it says on the box okay so it's called Harmony Dreamtime Elite and it's a belt positioning booster seat forward facing for children 15 to 36 kilograms group 2 3 approximate age is 4 to 12 years old it has six position, one hand headrest height adjustment. It has a blow molded design, which acts like airbags, greatly reducing the forces on your child's head in a side impact collision. It fits three across in most vehicles. Uh, ultra plush seat cover made with premium fabrics and extra foam for maximum comfort. Uh, belt path design prevents child from sliding under the lap belt on impact. Seat saver design protects your vehicle's upholstery. There is a cup holder which can be easily installed on either side. But unlike the Joey Trio, the Joey Trio has um, cup holders as well. It has two cup holders which you can extend out or if it's not being used, you can put it back in. But this one, it's just hanging and there's only one and you can hang it on either side, which, you know, I don't really mind. We actually don't really use the cup holders much, so it's not a big deal. Um, unique V-shaped design promotes safer installations and it has latch equipped with a front adjuster. I'm not sure what that is. And it easily converts to a backless booster seat. Um, I think maybe that has to do with the ISOFIX because like the Joey Trio, there it is compatible with the car's ISOFIX. You know, like there is a strap that you can attach to the car. And so even though the seat belt is not on, it's not gonna be like sliding everywhere. So we like that ISOFIX. So that's why we went for this one because this has that ISOFIX compatibility as well. So that's what it says on the box. Now it's time to open it. So I already cut the tape that holds the box close. Let's open it. This actually is really light because I can carry it with like one hand like that. Okay, let's get this out. So this is it. It comes in a bag. And I'm gonna have to cut this, am I? Not really. It's really light. Hmm. So this bits here, this is 
what we like it attaches to the car's iso fix right here so it's not going to be sliding everywhere even if the seat belt is not on and the child's not on it let me just get this bag off okay so in this bag we have the cup holder simple cup holder it actually well it can fit any kind of cup i guess or whatever size of cup you have it is flexible which is pretty good and there's a strap what is the strap for it has the manual there's a card here that you can fill out to register it online i think the assembly is pretty straightforward let's see so first this is the booster seat so if the child doesn't need the backrest anymore then it can become a booster seat i think this is the same as the joey trio and most group two slash three uh car seats now so this is what under the seat looks like so you can pull this to tighten it when you attach this bits to your isofix car isofix and it looks like you can remove the cover easily so if you want to wash this you definitely can from the looks of it and it has the armrest this is what the booster looks like you can see this is the strap like i said when you're adjusting the isofix or the isofix and that strap if you pull that it tightens this up this is what the side looks like so this is where you put the cup or here there is a slot there and i guess you just slide it in yeah and there we go there is your cup holder and you can move that from that side to this side now we go and check the backrest oh what is this seems fine it looks like it's just a bit of dust but i'm wiping it with antibacterial wipes just in case actually i'm gonna wipe the whole thing do the same with the seat as i was saying so this is the backrest so the top part this is the adjustable headrest and it's already attached when you buy it in the box and the back looks like this and it looks like you can easily remove the covers to wash you know as well like you know it's removable even here there's a velcro and you can remove that and this is for adjusting the height so if you adjust the height you just sort of pull this and you can pull it up Hype you need. And then there's the areas where the guides for the seat belt. So when you put your seat belt on it, it's not gonna go all over the place. There's a certain way to put the seat belt through those um, holes. So yeah, let's try and put this on the seat. You just have to make sure that the cover is not in the way so that you can move this up properly. The struggles of the new car seat. No, you just have to put them in there. It's just that it's not sliding. Is that supposed to... Oh dear. Okay, so I think I got it now. So, just same thing as I said earlier, you just put the two hook from the backrest into those holes and it's best to hold here on the armrest and then push the backrest so it's easy to come off too like that's all you have to do can you see that so we'll do it one more time Okay, so hold on to the 
just make sure that the hook thing is inserted well. And then there. There is our car seat. Easy peasy. Took me a few minutes to figure out. But it was just me being silly. This is what looks at the back. Attached. That's how it's attached to the back. Yeah, and that's it. So we are now ready to put this in the car. And this one here, this is actually the shoulder belt guide. I'm looking at the instructions. I don't think I need this at the moment because we're still using the backrest and there is a guide there on the backrest. So I'm thinking that this is more for when you're only using the booster seat and you're not using the backrest anymore. Then you can attach this as a shoulder belt guy that's what i think that's what it says right there i think that's what it is so i don't see any point of needing this if you have those to guide the seat belt so at this point we don't need it yet i'm not gonna try to install it or anything but we will keep this anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you again next time don't forget to subscribe for more videos, and if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and share.